Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the creator of The Legend of Zelda, Shigeru Miyamoto. And welcome. Mm, Zelda. It sure does bring back memories. Ah, okay. I'd like to ask Mr. Bill Toynen from Nintendo of America to translate for me once again this year. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Uh, so last year was the 25th anniversary of the Super Mario Brothers series. This year is the 25th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. Now, since we first released this game back in the 8-bit NES days, the gameplay and the visuals have constantly evolved with each new hardware system. And so has the music. Now, the song that you heard at the end of the piece performed by the orchestra today is the theme song for The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm used to hearing it at work every day now, but to hear it performed by an orchestra like this, in a hall like this, is exhilarating. Now, music is an indispensable piece of The Legend of Zelda. The feelings you get when you solve a puzzle or open a treasure chest or are helped by a fairy are in part created by the music that you hear at each of those moments. And of course, Link has often used a musical instrument as an important item in each of his quests. But since we have a full orchestra here today, a very talented one, I think we should ask them to play some of these songs live for us. What do you think? <laughs> okay, let's, let's start simple with the uh, chime for solving a puzzle. <laughs> that feels nice. <laughs> Next, how about opening a treasure chest? Item get this, getting an item. <laughs> that was a little short. Let's try something a little bit longer. How about the melody from a fairy's fountain? Isn't that nice? <laughs> Maybe we should do uh, getting an item one last time. This one with the full orchestra. Getting an item. Oh. Item get. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> it feels great. 
ありがとうございます。Thank you very much. <笑>えっとね、今日の今の曲皆さん全部わかるみたいですね。Did you know all these songs? すごいですね。この時代になっても。I have to thank all of you for remembering these simple 8-bit Zelda tunes in this age of high-end game machines. さあ、えっ、ー、とこのね、25周年の節目に。So, For the 25th anniversary, we have prepared a Zelda game for each of our hardware systems. First off, although the Nintendo eShop launched only yesterday for Nintendo 3DS, starting today, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will be available as the first title in the Game Boy Color Virtual Console lineup. So you'll be able to download it today, and it should be available around the world by day's end. Now this is a game that we created, perhaps with the most unbridled creativity of any game in the series. And I think it's great for people who are playing Zelda for the first time, because from it they can learn the basics of Zelda gameplay. And then starting next weekend, Yes, next weekend. The Legend of Zelda 3D will launch for Nintendo 3DS around the world. So now that it's on Nintendo 3DS, the frame rate has been improved. The graphics have been revamped, and it feels great. It feels, there's a new sense of realism when you're riding your horse through the sweeping scenery of Hyrule. For those of you who are playing it for the first time, we've included hint movies to help you along the way if you need it. And for those of you who have played the game in the past, we have included the mirrored Legend of Zelda Master Quest mode. And we've also added a boss challenge mode. Um, next up, we have coming in September. On Nintendo DSi, the four-player cooperative Legend of Zelda Four Swords that we're going to make available to all of you as a free download. <laughs> so because this is a four-player Zelda game, we hope you will gather all of your friends together. And then finally, we will be launching The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This will be out worldwide this holiday season for Wii. It's finally done. Now, the game is going to use Wii Motion Plus to swing your sword, and it's also going to help make using items like the bow and arrow simpler. And so, in honor of this, we're going to create a special gold Wii remote that will also be available as a uh, promotion when we launch the game. So you can look forward to that as well. Now, I'm, I'm playing Skyward Sword at work every day, and it really feels as if I'm the one that's fighting all of those battles. <laughs> Perhaps you've noticed, but I feel like my arm's gotten a little stronger. It's great exercise. Now, from a volume standpoint, the game is packed full of content, and I think that we're going to be able to deliver to you the most satisfying Zelda experience of any game in the series. And then, of course, because these are games, they have many elements that I think you need to play yourself to truly understand. So I hope you'll all play both The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D and Skyward Sword on the show floor this week. Please play it. Now, we also have an orchestra here today. So, in honor of the 25th anniversary, we'd like to announce that we're going to be holding the Legend of Zelda 25th Anniversary Symphony Concerts in each region around the world. So, uh, let's give a big round of applause for our orchestra today, who's done a fantastic job. So, we'll be holding these concerts uh, in each region. Uh, they'll be happening in the fall, and you can look forward to more announcements from uh, Japan, the U.S., and Europe about the specific dates. Um, 
Additionally, we're preparing two music CDs. The first is the Le Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D official soundtrack. And this is going to be made available as a gift to those who are among the first to register the game with Club Nintendo. Uh, the other CD that we're working on is going to be based on the Legend of Zelda 25th Anniversary Symphony Concerts and will be used in conjunction with the release of Skyward Sword. So you can look forward to that as well. We're also planning a number of other events and activities to celebrate the 25th anniversary beyond these, so you can look forward to more announcements later this year.